everybody. It's Michelle Mazzara, Level 3 with you live. Welcome to a very special show today, midday on March 15th. I have my friend, YouTube chef Mitt Brown from Barbecue Rescues. We wanted to do something special this week, and so please welcome Mitt Brown. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to make the smokehouse barbecue boneless rib recipe. Oh, great. You know, we've been talking about for a couple, I mean, I just want to show you how easy it is because, you know, we do these videos, people think we do take after take after take. So I'm going to do it live. We have okay. half of it all right. So I'm going to do it right now. Let me get cooking. Can I get cooking? Get cooking. And I'm going to talk about here in Minneapolis today, it's 46 degrees. For all of you that don't know what that means to all of us Minnesotans, it means summer's here. <laughs> Uh -huh. It's hard to believe it's only 46 degrees, but we get excited because we don't wait until it turns 75 or 80. That could be June, July, right. who knows? So um, I call it officially iced tea season and Mick didn't know, but I actually launched a clean drinking iced tea line uh, about a year and a half ago during the pandemic. I didn't know that. So you don't yep. advertise or what? No, I do. I do. But, you know, I don't talk about it during... December, January, February in the dead of winter, but I do talk oh. about it. So now it's officially iced tea season and I'm feeling orangey today. So I'm drinking one of the favorites, um, the blood orange. Right. Now so does, let me, yeah. Now does it have to be iced or does it taste good hot? Oh, it tastes good hot. In the wintertime, people take the blood orange and they actually warm it up and put a little honey in it. But Can you turn the bowl towards the vi the camera? And how much did you put in? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring it to you. Actually, let me let me do this first, and I'll show you the whole thing. Okay. So now I'm doing the love of foodies. So, so it was roughly about two, three tablespoons. I think I have like maybe like a pound of uh, pork, and they're right now they're looking more like rib tips, or um, yeah, more, more like rib tips today than like the skinny ribs, but they taste just the same. The ribs with the bones. Yeah, so you see that? This is like the, um, it's a season just like that. It's like lightly seasoned, mm -hmm. but you can see the herbs on there. And the Worcester sauce just helps it stick and gives it a little extra flavor. Yep. So now I'm going to, I have an indoor grill. This is the one um, Emerald used to use. Remember Essence of Emerald? I love Emerald. Yeah, it's like an indoor Gaganal grill. So I'm going to put yep. it on the grill right now. And it should cook up like five minutes per side. So yeah, it didn't. You know, when I did, I cooked it for my mom on Sunday, and I did it in the oven. I used your oven method. Uh -huh. it, the because the pork ribs, the little bites are so small, it does uh -huh. not cook long to cook right. pork. And here's the trick, everybody: pork does not need to be cooked well done. Did you know that, Mick? You probably knew that, right? Well, yeah. So other white meat, I, I've heard somewhere. Uh -huh. ribs on a bone okay right well you know what the thing is i mean i have a confession okay i i don't know why but since i've been making these boneless ribs i, I you know i question sometime if like the traditional ribs are, are worth the effort do you ever think about that some people like to chew on bones <laughs> they really oh, do. But I know it's a tradition, but you know, believe it or not, I haven't really catered like a party in like two years for some reason. I <laughs> might begin with the word C. I might have some people staying at home and wearing masks and stuff or whatever. So, you know, I've been doing mostly is just private online lessons like you right now. If you're in your kitchen, we could be cooking together and I'll, you know, you'll ask me any recipe and, you know, we'll go step by step. Mick, what I really liked about the barbecue sauce was the sesame oil. Yeah, it adds a really nice smoky flavor. It was just a nice, yeah, it was a nice touch. Um, I've made barbecue sauce before with both my barbecue lovers and my smokehouse rub. In fact, if anyone goes on to my website, you can um, see those recipes. But I hadn't put sesame lovers in there before, so that was new. That was a new learning for me. Yeah, no, that's my favorite flavor, especially if you get the roasted sesame oil. That's really, really good. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it just has that smoky flavor already, and it's all natural. Unlike, like, sometimes, you know, they have, like, the regular liquid smoke, which I don't like that too much. I mean, it's it just tastes 
Like you don't need it when you've got level three smokehouse lovers. You don't need to add any additional. You don't need to really. And I just, the sesame oil just kind of kicks up the sauce a little bit, you know. Right. But it's good even without it. Even if you have no sesame oil, just still make it, you know. But right. So I put uh, the barbecue sauce, the sesame oil, of course, some lovers. I put about a tablespoon in. No. Right. So, oh, I have a new recipe for you. You want to see it? Sure. Is, I'm premiering this on the show, okay? Okay.